Hey guys, it's Zach. Uh, it's been a while. Um, I'm actually out here working on the RV as I typically do. And uh, we just got some new seats. You can kind of see briefly behind me here. Um, and I ran across an issue that I wanted, to, I, I found an easy solve for, and I thought it'd be useful to tell you guys. And all you need to do to solve it is a coat hanger. So let me uh, let me show you the issue and we'll, we'll put a fix in and it'll be a pretty quick video. So stick around. All right, so I got these seats from uh, Shop for Seats, and, and I have to admit, these are really, really nice quality seats. Um, they're actually a little bit bigger than the, the bounder seats that I had. Um, so it's, they're just, I don't know, they feel great. Um, but I did uh, run into a slight issue. Um, so what's kind of nice is these bolts here on the, the bottom mechanism, this is a sliding mechanism. It you know, slides the seat forward and backwards. And um, these bolts line up perfectly with the um, the existing uh, seat, seat bases that are you know that are in the bounder. So um, one of the one of the issues you'll see here is this one here is locked, but this side, um, <laughs> this side you can slide. It's kind of hard to do one-handed, but you can slide it. So you'll notice here that this particular mechanism is open. What's supposed to happen is when you when you move this lever, you see the left side there disengages and allows it to slide, but the right side just stays where it is. Um, so yeah, I, I did some research and I found out all you have to do is move this spring from this point down to here, which will keep it closed. And then we have to run a wire from here to this hole right here um, this outside hole and that will actually allow it to to open so I'm gonna end up using just a coat hanger to do that but you can use any any wire cable or anything like that so let me go ahead and do that and uh, we'll um, I'll show you it working after I'm done okay yeah it's really I mean that easy so now that I have the wire between here and the bottom hole um, and the spring set there, when I go to use the, the lever, you'll see how it opens the mechanism like it's supposed to. All right, so now all I'm gonna do is just, with that, uh, that uh, wire in there, I'm just gonna close those ends up and we're done. And install the, install the chair. Like I said, that was quick and simple. Um, as you see too, we also got the cabinets uh, painted. I also painted the dash area. It's like a black uh, satin now, but uh, we'll do you. We'll give you a full tour once we're all done. But this is uh, just something I found while uh, installing the new seats, and uh, we also have a new couch and a new um, uh, desk chair coming as well. So all that's gonna get done, and then we'll we'll do a full video. So we gotta finish finish painting. Oh. And I also updated the uh, the speakers as well. Um, apparently, you know, speakers from 1998, you know, they crackle a little bit. These are a lot better. So glad to start, uh, you know, updating some of the stuff in the front because we've already done a lot of work in the back uh, in the the um, uh, bedroom area. So, but um, cool. So hopefully that helps somebody. And um, yeah, thanks for watching.